everybody i'm outside on my porch today and i just wanted to show you how we're going to set up this yeast experiment with the banana this is some dried yeast that we have here and we have a bag that we've marked with we've marked with no yeast and a bag that we've marked with yeast so before i open the yeast and remember yeast can easily be airborne so as soon as i open the yeast it's going to go into the air some of it you won't be able to see that of course so i'm going to take two slices and in class, we would have used the whole banana and um, each student would have gotten a bag and we would have had them all taped on the wall in the, in the classroom, sealed, of course, because these do end up being really smelly. So you can see I'm putting that down in there. All right. Here's the no yeast one. And I'm putting that slice in there too. Trying to get it all the way down without mushing it. Now I want to seal this one up so it can be airtight. Now the one flaw in this experiment is there already are yeast cells in the air, just naturally. They're just a very low population. So this one will decompose because of the yeast cells in the air. Remember what we're going to be looking for is that this becomes liquefied over the next couple days. Each day I'll post a new video showing you what the uh, condition looks like. The one aspect of this that you probably are thankful you don't have to do is that you won't have to smell these because in the experiment in class we would have to smell these each day. And if you recall from our reading, the, um, the waste product of yeast cells is carbon dioxide, which doesn't necessarily smell. And alcohol so you would definitely start to smell like a wine smell smell like a, a bit of a wine so you can see these little yeast cells in here all right they look like little granules there and that's over the next day we're going to check this on saturday and sunday and i'll post those on monday for you but uh, you'll come in and each day this next week you'll see the progress of both of these so this one is no yeast and this one is yeast all right now, if you're wondering what happens to the rest of that banana, my teenage son is going to eat that. We're going to go back into the root house. There's Echo saying hi. He's wondering why I'm walking in. We're going to take these to the back wall so that I can access them each day. Anyway, like I said, we're going to check this each day, and what we're going to be looking for is the liquefaction, the liquefying that occurs, and also the smell, and I'll try to sh show you the reaction I have to the smell and describe it to you. Remember, it will smell like alcohol. By the fifth or sixth day, it's going to be pretty strong, so I'll give you a rating of one to ten of how I think it smells. Um, if you have yeast at home and you have a banana at home and some Ziploc bags, you can try this experiment as well, but you don't have to go out and buy them, all right? See you guys.